back to Twins Try. I'm Christy. I'm Wing. And today we're trying snacks from Lebanon. This is part of our series for the Middle East. And if you want to see more videos of us trying snacks from the Middle East, there will be a link to the playlist down below. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Well, the first thing we have are these roasted melon seeds. Mm -hmm. So I've never really been much of a seed eater, I feel. Like, I just want to eat the snack without de-shelling something. Yeah. So, and it's actually interesting because usually when we eat melons, we don't even think about roasting them or doing anything to them. Or the fact that there's anything edible inside, we usually just discard them. Mm -hmm. So the fact that somebody else was like, oh, let's actually eat them or figure out what's inside is really? edible. Sure. And then roasting them. I think that's a good idea. Like, I think we've kind of all started this whole less wasteful kind of journey. So to be able to use up other bits that you wouldn't even think of. Interesting. Yeah. A lot of people do roasted seeds for like pumpkin when mm -hmm. it's pumpkin season. So yeah. I see that pretty frequently, yeah. but never seen melon seeds before, but these are superior. So let's give it a taste. It's like, um, you still have to crack it. Yeah. And uh, New Year's. Chinese people eat these red seeds, which are they also melon seeds? Mm. Well, anyways, they're some kind of seeds where you have to crack them and they're red. And you get the little piece like of that. Yeah. Mm. Too annoying though. I thought they're so tiny. I was like, oh, you could just eat them. Like, oh, nope, you still gotta crack them. Yeah. Which is why I don't like eating seeds. Too bad they're not pre cracked. <laughs> yeah, we'll eat it that way. You know how sometimes they have de-shelled sunflower seeds? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably the only way I'll eat sunflower seeds. We have sunflower seeds. Yeah, never they're never them. gonna eat them because they're not open. Mm -hmm. I just missed my mouth. They're definitely, they have a little citrusy. Yeah, I was gonna say the salty or the salted exterior. It tastes like they seasoned this with lemon juice or something because mm -hmm. it's sour. Yeah, I was gonna say some kind of sourness to it. I can't say this is my favorite. One is annoying to eat. <laughs> I already knew that I was not gonna enjoy opening them. But I don't like that it's sour. I like the inside though. Mm -hmm. I think the sourness is to preserve it. Uh -huh. But it's very flavorful. That's sour on the shelf. If you like seeds, you'd like this. For sure, like my dad's gonna love this. Yeah. <clears throat> but he would actually be patient enough to sit down and eat this. Yeah. I'm not. Me neither. I'm gonna have to throw the seeds away. Yeah, now I got a whole discard pile. <laughs> I think I like snacks I don't have to work for. Yeah. <laughs> for so easy. The next thing we're trying are Prince Choco Prince. So, Prince Choco Prince is actually not from the Middle East, but it is so well loved there that it is so well known to be eaten in the Middle East, especially in Lebanon. They kind of remind me of choco, choco pies, pies. Yeah. so I'm hoping they're less dry. That's this the one, one looks thinner, so it yeah. looks like it would have less cake. Yeah, I think the cake to chocolate ratio might be better on this, so let's give it a taste. Definitely something you can dunk into your coffee or something. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. It's like a cracker. Yeah. The cracker part is slightly salted. Like very slightly, but kind of buttery. Mm -hmm. But it's a really good contrast. And I prefer this over choco pie way, way, yeah. way more. Mm -hmm. If choco pie made it like this, I'll eat too many choco pies. Yeah. So good thing they don't. Yeah, every time I get a choco pie, or even a moon pie, like, I'm kind of disappointed. And I think moon pies, when they're fresh, when we did the South, uh, trying snacks from the South, they're supposed to be more moist. Mm -hmm. But if they're not fresh, they're dry like choco pies. Mm -hmm. That was good. Wait. The next thing we're trying is well-loved in Lebanon, and it is the Grandeur Tutti Frutti Fruity Chocolate, now with raspberries. And so inside is chocolate with like fruit syrups from what I'm understanding. So let's give it a taste. This one's kind of fruity, like strawberry or berry, raspberry, you know, some kind of berry. They're very floral. Mm-hmm. But they're pretty good. Mm-hmm. 
I would... expected Tutti Fruity to be like our Tutti Fruity. Yeah. Kind of like a candy. So I am pleasantly surprised. Yeah, and I think the chocolate is slightly different. It's not just chocolate. And it might be the syrup inside, but I don't think it is. I think they like add something to the chocolate so it's kind of have different notes in it. Mm-hmm. They're really unique. Mm-hmm. And they're like distinguishable what flavor it is. Yeah, usually with stuff like this, you're like, maybe it's that. Like the gummy bears, mm-hmm. you cannot tell what flavor gummy bear it is. They say on the package what flavor each of them are, but yeah. they taste the same. But this, very distinctly pineapple. And it's also not very artificially colored either. Mm-hmm. It's a very light yellow versus, yeah. like, it's more pastel mm-hmm. versus like bright yellow. Yeah, so I like that. It's not like, oh, we used a ton of red 40 or yellow, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty good. The next thing we're trying is the original Lebanese chocolate wafer. And it's well loved in the Middle East. It is the Gandor Unica Creamy Strawberry Wafer. And it's supposed to be thin wafer and great for going with coffee, things like that. So, coffee and tea. The strawberry reminds me of like Pocky. Mm-hmm. I mean, it even smells like it. Yeah. I mean, a little artificial. Mm-hmm. The wafer is a little bit more on the staler side than the crisp wafer. Yeah. But it's pretty good. I like it. I think because it's reminiscent of Pocky. Mm-hmm. I wish it was a little bit more crispy. Yeah. But aside from that, it's great. Mm-hmm. Okay, the next thing we're trying is Gandor Dabka. And it is a fan favorite, which is a biscuit filled with sweet lemon cream or locum. And it is love through the Middle East, and it's a simple but full-flavored snack that's great with tea. Um, so the word dabka is actually the Lebanese or Arabic word for dance. So, pretty cool. I like it. Mm-hmm. They have like little sugar crystals as you bite down. Mm-hmm. So it's not just completely creamy. And I like that textural difference. Yeah. So it adds wish- an additional crunch to the crunch of the wa- uh, cookie. Mm-hmm. I wish there was slightly more cream. Mm-hmm. I usually don't wish that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it would provide more balance if there was. Mm-hmm. The cookies are a little dry, but still overall really good. Mm-hmm. I like it. Me too. The next thing we're trying is an apricot bonbon. These seem to be very popular in um, the Middle East, and this is specific to Lebanon. A jammy Mm -hmm. apricot? And then they put the seed back in, (laughs) or something. I think they just jam it somehow. But it's weird because the exterior is like, yeah. It's a little too sweet for my taste, Mm -hmm. but if this is how the original fruit tasted with no additives, then I'd be impressed. But I do think they add sugar to it somehow. Yeah. The exterior is definitely interesting. It's like kind of leathery, fruit leathery almost. Mm -hmm. And then the inside is like jammy. Yeah. And then the next thing we have are these Malbons. These are inherently Middle Eastern. um, And... This one has rose in it, from what I can tell, and this one is just pistachio. Mm-hmm. This one is the rose one. It's covered in rose in the exterior, and it looks like it's pistachio and some kind of candy. Actually, not as sweet as I was anticipating. Mm-hmm. It's almost like the candy bit is just to hold it together. Mm-hmm. It almost it's more like a gel. Mm-hmm. I don't like the rose exterior. Mm, it's dry and floral. Yeah. But definitely interesting to have tried, Mm -hmm. but not my favorite bit. Almost like a nougat. Yeah, so I was gonna say it's more nougaty. Mmm, this one's a lot harder. Absolutely. Mm hmm. I prefer this one though. Mm -hmm. The nougats, yeah. Definitely hard, but it warms up in your mouth. And definitely sweeter, so it adds more of a candy kind of taste to it. Mm -hmm. A lot similar to the first one, but no rose, which I much prefer. Mm-hmm. And there's a powder mm-hmm. on the side. But it's not like super noticeable or anything. Mm-hmm. These were fun to try. The nougat one was, this one was definitely my favorite of the three. 
I like that they use pistachios because it's not a lot of things that you use pistachios for, except like halva. But this was a different take on using pistachios as a snack, and I really like it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that sums up our Lebanese snacks. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are pretty good. Yeah, and actually a lot of like a wide range of snacks. Like mm -hmm. we have these which some of them have rose in it, and some of them are just nougat with pistachio. And then there's the bonbon, mm -hmm. the wafers, the, the chocolate with the like fruit gel. Mm -hmm. or yeah, that was really good. Yeah, so lots of sweets, mm -hmm. I feel like. Mm -hmm. And a wide range of different uses. Mm -hmm. As usual, our rankings are going to be on screen. As you can tell, we did like a majority of these snacks, and it's always so much fun for us to try these snacks from different countries. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get to see our next videos. And as always, let us know what you should try next. On Twins Try. Bye! Bye.